Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing, but that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Maybe my carpets are magical. <laughs> Give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. Yep, up, up, up. How did Marvin say this worked? Is that a corpus? General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, he got cold feet, tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart. But, uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. I hear you. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat.
You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. How you doing? Yes! That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. You're dismissed. General Satan's orders. What? No salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace this. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. You sold us outside. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't supposed to have been of the prison transport. But you know what they say about omelets. And he died for a cause. To luck. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. Freaky. Jerry. Stomach cramps. What kind of idiot eats a shellfish from a buffet in this heat? Relax, Pam. I hired a local cameraman. Freelance guy would be fine. Oh, well, if you're not worried, Tyler, then I'm not worried. After all, it's not like it's a very important internet. I mean, it's really not like it's an exclusive or anything. Pam, do you remember that talk we had about low blood sugar? Yeah, this is one of those times. Oh, where is this guy anyway? Be here. And you have a banana for Christ's sake.
Your guys clearly. Ugh, finally, where have you been? Sorry, I'm late. Streets aren't safe. Stromberg has not been convicted of any crime, so we're not allowed to ask directly about the location of the seven billion. Stick to the facts. I got it. The accusations, the trial, uh, Stromberg's dramatic breakout. You know, get his side of the story. Title. I got this. Right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. The big one. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Hey, what's up? Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say I'm surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Shots? Aha! Capital, you made it. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere. Thanks, bud. Camera guy, okay, we're what's ready up? If you are, Mr. Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. If you are innocent, in the eyes of the law, why did violent assailants spring you from police custody this morning, claiming the lives of six police officers? Well, that, I'm afraid, is some philanthropist. Oh, no. down. Now head towards an exit. Get 
Compromise, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> 